This is James. He is a drug addict who was abandoned by his family, so he became homeless and busks on the streets just to get food. Every day he has to sleep on the streets. He often scavenges through the garbage just to fill his hungry stomach. James is eager to return to his family, so he decides to visit a drug addict rehabilitation center and do rehab. But one day, one of his addict friends named Buzz asked James to get into his stolen car. Then Buzz forces James to return to using drugs. At first James refused, but it turns out that he was instigated by Buzz. How long have they been here? Hey! James is rushed to the hospital. Then his rehabilitation assistant, Val, come to him. James asks for his guitar because it is the only thing he has. Val says that this is the last time she will help him, and she doesn't even want to accept an apology from James because this is not the first time James have broken his promise not to use drugs anymore. After being discharged from the hospital, James goes to Vol's office and apologizes to her again. Luckily, Val forgives James, but James has to visit Val every two weeks to check on his condition. Val also prescribes methadone for James to take. Methadone is a painkiller and part of the treatment for opioid dependence. As a rehabilitation assistant for James, Val is very concerned about his condition. She even asks the rehabilitation center to give James a place to stay, because she thinks that as long as James is still homeless, the rehabilitation program will never succeed. How happy James is when he saw his new home. He expressed his gratitude and thankfulness to Val. James promises that he will adhere to his rehabilitation program until he is completely clean from drugs. As James is enjoying his first day taking a warm bath, he suddenly hears a suspicious noise. Hmm? Knowing that the orange cat is starving, James immediately gives the cat some milk. We can tell that James has a very soft heart. With great patience, James tells the orange cat to go home immediately because he is afraid that the owner will look for him. But seeing the cat's expression that wants to stay, James allows the cat to stay there for a night. The next day, James goes to every house in the neighborhood, looking for the owner of the orange cat he is holding. But because he can't find the owner, James finally let the cat go. In the city when James is singing on the streets, he accidentally meet his father. James tells his father that he is now in a rehabilitation program. In front of his stepmother who hates James, James asks to be allowed to celebrate Christmas with his father but she refuses. His father can only give James money and then he leaves. When he returned home, James is surprised by the orange cat who is whimpering in pain because of the wound on his body. With great concern, James immediately seeks for help. Luckily, his neighbor, Betty, immediately give the cat first aid. Betty is one of the volunteers from the Free Animal Health Service Center, and she advises James to take him there. Before leaving, Betty advises James to name his cat Bob. When he arrives at the Animal Health Center, James feels hesitant, knowing that the queue is very long. Plus, that day is the day James have to make a visit to Vol's office. But for the sake of Bob's health, James chooses to stay in line. After being examined, James has to pay for the medicine, which is quite expensive. So, inevitably James uses the only money given by his father yesterday to redeem Bob's medicine. At home, James has difficulty giving the medicine to Bob, so he finally has to ask Betty for help. Betty also gives two cans of meat to Bob. Betty lives in the neighborhood of drug addicts, but she is clean from drugs. Hearing that, James lies and claims that he is a musician who is looking for inspiration to write his new song. The next day, James meets Val to explain why he can't keep his promise yesterday. With a cheerful face, James tells her about his new friends Bob and Betty. But after hearing the story about Betty, Val become worried. She warns James that his current condition is very unlikely to start a relationship. Hearing this, James become very sad. Luckily, Bob can make James feel a little calm. One day, when James is going to the city to sing on the street, Bob follows him, even though James has told him not to. 
So inevitably, James has to bring Bob to sing with him. But apparently Bob's presence can attract the attention of the people there and some even want to take photos. Usually every time he sang, no one ever wanted to listen to him, but this time people immediately surrounds James. For the first time James feels very happy because he can get so much money from his singing. An old lady who have seen his performance earlier approaches them and says that Bob will be James' life partner and he can be a better friend than humans. Buzz, a man who has once instigated James, is curious about James' current life. Buzz continued to follow him. The next day, when James is about to go singing again, Buzz suddenly approaches him. James doesn't want to hang out with Buzz because he is afraid of getting caught up in drugs again. So, to keep Buzz away, James gives him some money. In the middle of the city, Bob can again steal the attention of the audience. It seems that many people like James' performance. James realized Bob and also Betty now gave him a new spirit. After he is neglected by his family, James finally feels the happiness he hasn't felt in a long time. He is very grateful that God has sent Bob and Betty in his life. The next day, James buy various types of food for Bob. It was clear that James loved Bob very much. Wherever James goes, Bob always rides on James' shoulders. When they returned home, James is shocked to see his friend suddenly lying on the street due to an overdose. In a panic, James shouts for help. Fortunately, Betty is there and come to help him. Soon the ambulance arrived and immediately took Buzz to the hospital. After that, Betty looked very scared, like a traumatized person. After calming down a bit, Betty explains that she used to live with her brother who was an addict and it took her months to get back on her feet after she lost her beloved brother. And since then, Betty no longer wants to have a relationship with an addict. Hearing this, James immediately meet Val. He tells his desire to get clean from drugs as soon as possible. He wants to stop taking methadone. But no matter what, James has to go through the process step by step. Val promises that after Christmas, James can try not taking methadone. Long story short, Christmas Day arrived. Even though he feels a little nervous, James visits his father's house. But it turns out... Luckily, James is still able to celebrate his Christmas with Bob and Betty. James feels very happy. He also get a Christmas present, a painting from Betty. Again, James feels very grateful for a life that is getting better every day. Until one day, when he is singing on the street, someone let his dog pee on James' bag, causing them to fight. James is taken to the police station. Val comes there to help James, so that he can be released from the police station with the condition that James is no longer allowed to sing on the streets. If he is caught busking, James will be jailed for six months. James immediately thinks of his little friend, Bob. He is worried because he has left him for a long time. To calm him down, Val tells James to ask for methadone at the pharmacy. But Betty, who is also at the pharmacy, accidentally see James taking methadone, which make Betty furious. She feels very upset because all this time James had lied to her. Betty no longer wanted to listen to James' explanation. The happiness that James has just felt is instantly lost. To make a living, James works as a paper seller. Again, thanks to Bob, James easily sells the paper. They even attract the attention of a reporter who was passing by. The reporter immediately covers James and Bob. But one of paper sellers feel jealous and hates James because of James' success. Especially when someone asks for a photo with James and buy his paper in his sales area. He immediately reports James to his boss, which make James suspended from selling papers for one month. James begins to get frustrated because his money is running out. Plus, he hears Bob who keep me eyeing, making James' emotions pee, and immediately yells at Bob. But he realizes that his actions were wrong. In order to find food for himself and for Bob, James has to busk again. He continues to sing from one place to another until Betty accidentally passes by on the street. 
She immediately scolds James because she knew that the police did not allow James to sing again. Long story short, James is able to return to his job selling papers again. But unexpectedly, when he's selling his paper, someone come and force James to sell Bob to his son. There is an argument between James and that person. And then Bob suddenly ran away. James immediately runs after and looks for Bob. But even after searching everywhere, James can't find Bob. And since losing Bob, he feels very sad and also worries about Bob's condition. James blame himself, thinking he is incapable of taking care of his best friend. After missing for days, news of James and Bob go viral. They are featured in various newspapers, Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube, which caught the attention of an agency head. But after a few days, Bob is still nowhere to be found. James, who is already feeling desperate, approaches the drug seller in his neighborhood, but fortunately he manages to restrain himself and go home. When James returns to his house, Bob is already in the house. This of course makes James feel very relieved and immediately hugs Bob. Long story short, Val finally allows James to stop taking methadone for a week. This is the last process in his rehabilitation period. If James succeeds, then he will be completely clean from drugs. Accompanied by Bob, James is confident that he will make it through the final process. James goes to Betty's house and apologizes to her for everything that had happened. Betty forgives James and encourages him to get through the rehabilitation process. After a week of sobriety, James finally made it through the rehab process, of course with help of Bob, his little friend who is always by his side. Now James' life completely changed. He is completely clean from drugs. Val as his assistant and also friend is also very happy with it. When James is about to tell Betty this happy news, he has to accept the fact that Betty will soon be moving in with her parents. But Betty gives James her new address and he can visit her anytime. Few days later, a publisher that is interested in James's story offered James a partnership. They want to make a book about James and Bob's friendship that will be written by Jim himself. After returning from agency office, James stops by his father's house and how happy his father is when he knows that his son is clean from drugs. James apologizes for being a shameful child for the family. James' father shows a photo of James that he has been keeping in his wallet. Apparently, all this time he has not neglected James. He is just ashamed of himself for not being a good father. Now, they are back together and look happy. Finally, James' first book is released. A lot of people are willing to queue to get James and Bob's signatures. Everyone who has ever been present in James' life also attends the book launching event, including Betty, Val, and also his father.